Are you moving it, huh? <laughs> This box underneath that thing. Oh. Yeah, hold it up in the back so there's this much of a gap. Oh. So if it goes in boys, it's all gonna fall right out yeah. the backside. So I'm just gonna take this, I'll brick around it so it'll hold it. Okay. Got that steel to toss in it. These are the cutters that cut this pretty easy. Oh cool. Just put it on there, crimp it and it cuts it like butter. Cool. I was, yep. was gonna go grab an angle. You can drive fit that. No, 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 you can just use them. Yep. Actually, I'd probably set the wire right inside there and then cut around it if you want. It's up to you. Yeah, that'd be the easiest way. I think he's gonna prime. He calls. He's gonna prime that out, so he's gonna. There's gonna be a little dirty water yeah, coming out of it. Blow whatever. I told him to prime out right inside the form, but he didn't know you moved it. So, all right, we're ready to go. Gonna prime that out, and then we'll get going here. How to do a concrete slab for homeowners. <laughs> There's your bracing. Set it on the ground, pour it on the grass. This is how we do it. How about we got? Nah, Daryl's got. Oh, maybe he is out. Probably just the hopper left. I think he was uh, watching my hopper. He didn't add anything. Okay. Yeah, it's a, definitely a skill and a technique. The guy from Ohio there, the, the veteran that's helping us, he's, that's what he's all been talking about all week. He's like, geez, you guys make it look so easy. Yeah. Then when we, then when he goes and tries it, it's like, oh my God, how come I can't do it like you? <laughs> he's picking it up pretty good though. Yeah. Step out of there for a sec. You're going to screed here? You're going to practice your kick screeding? All right, we get these edges, Mag. You jump right in there. Chris, you're gonna turn around and come right in here. I'll get these moved. Is it okay if I pull that blue one over there? You think? And then I'll just move my white one. Yeah. Because you you can come right here, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Just give me a second. Let me pull ahead. Okay. Now pull it right over there. Mike, what's the name of that town, Tuesday? Paulus. Paulus. I was trying to, you want 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 to, there you go. Got it. Look at him go. Ah! Slow down. You don't have to go to race. Look at this peacock, baby. That's it. Good, yeah. Bring that creep back in with your feet. Yep. Nice. First time kick screeding. Get them, Get them lazy. <laughs> my ham, my hamstrings get tired. <laughs> Remember, yeah. if I stop, it's your fault, Luke. Yeah, stop talking, stop puddling. Come on. <laughs> That's really good, Joe. They're definitely slow and close. Okay, what do you avoid coming out? Oh, on the other side? Yep, that's here. 
You can see you're scoring good, right? Scoring good here. Yeah, I can feel I'm trying to equal pressure. I'm diving a little bit. Scoring pretty good here. You can almost see that line. Yep. Uh, I think he can just mag it. I'll get my dobby for him. Be good practice for him. Now he's all grown up. I told him he could mag it with my Darby. I'll get my Darby. Oh, what do I do with my Darby? I put it in your truck. So it's a lot slower process. So it took me a while, but it's I can't find my Darby. I'll let you try this though. Is he looking for it or no? Is that a funny float? Yeah. Basically it's just you've done this, right? Nope. Okay, so just just keeping that front edge tipped up. Basically just magging it by with a pole. Magging it with a pole. I'm gonna go see if I can find my Darby though. Pick it up on the job. Okay. That's where you did. This is a little bit bigger mag, we call a Darby. These are pretty handy to have too. It's almost twice the size of the one we yeah, use. So you can get the middle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could do the whole thing with it really, but yeah. You could try this too, it might be a little easier than that one. I'll try this, I mean, I feel like I could probably do with that. It's kind of like troweling or magging, right? Yeah, that's another little art in all itself. Yeah. Trying to get that, yeah. Yeah, try not to bury the corners in there. My He's gonna edge it and broom it all by himself today. Right. That'd be cool, huh? Yeah, that'd be really it's cool. Your own little broom pad. All right, what time we get? We started at what? It was like 7.06. 8.18 right now. We've been done for a few minutes. So about an hour to do that. Get it poured. That's not too bad. I would say... Let's feel this. I would say by feeling, at least the second truck right here. Ooh, we've got an hour before we got to do anything there. Dude, he's like a freaking robot. I've never seen him drink water. <laughs> There's water in the coffee, Joe. Feeling good? Yeah, just put a right in the center, 59 and a half. Yep. 59 and... Yeah, offset it to where the groove is on the groover. Yeah. Try to get... Yeah, she wouldn't have wanted to wait anymore. Perfect. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I was just trying to help him out. And... Yeah, no, you're good. I think get that groove, get it edged, and then jump right on magging it. If you need help, haul us. Get in there. You want to mag it? And... All right. So I guess my question is, on all these edges I just did, I'm going to mag you. So do I re-edge at the end to get a smooth? After you broomed. After I broomed, okay. Yep. Right. And that's kind of a preference thing. You can leave what we call that pitcher frame. Yep. You can leave the pitcher frame after you broom. You could you could redo the groove joint too and leave it like that. We do them both ways. Whatever you think looks good to you or the customer, just kind of yell at your choice. But go ahead and mag. Everything. She's ready to mag. Yeah. And then just lightly. Yep. Lightly broom. Yep. All right. Get her all magged out. Get her broom. She's probably. Oh yeah, she's ready. You ready? I want to help you, but I don't want to help you. You know what I mean? Because if you were here by yourself today, yeah. I want you to feel like what it feels like to rush to try to get this magged. I want to see how you're going to do here. I'll help you if you need it. Right. Just know that you've got maybe five minutes to get this magged, okay? All right. <laughs> Putting a timer on you. Nice, yep. I just want to fill another little ratty, right? Yeah, fill the ratties, and then once you get it smooth, man, just move on. Yeah. If you have to come back after you get it all mag floated, then just you can touch up a couple little spots. <sighs> but getting it getting it like this worked up with a little cream and a paste is buying you a little bit of time. That stuff over there is drying pretty good, right? You can feel it. Oh, yeah, I can hear it.
Sometimes what we'll do, I'll show you real quick too, but sometimes though for leverage, I'll use another mag. Oh yeah. And that'd... then now look how far I can reach, right? Yeah, because I don't yeah. feel like I'm getting Yeah, so if you want to try that for leverage and yeah. sometimes you can push down a little harder. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's looking good. You're getting good at that. It's that the first couple of days I wasn't using a wrist. Yep. Do I want to take off that excess cream or leave it? Where? Kind of like where it builds up. Or is that all? Well, good? you can get this on this side. That there's good. That that little bit there is fine. Room's gonna take that out. I'm gonna go grab that broom for you. How's the edging going, okay? Good. Just kind of keeping an eye on Joe. He's almost got it out there. Looking good. Now if you was in the sun. It would, be, it would be 10 degrees warmer, right? And you, so your sense of urgency would just be a little faster. Even. Well, I like that. You said five minutes. I'm like, I know. Yeah, like, like okay. Get it good. Right? Get the cream up. Just don't try to be too much of a perfectionist, right? Yeah. I'm not saying, like, all this extra cream is, I guess. Just... Yeah, just work that in and get it flat, and then the broom will take care of the rest. Can you see there's a little divot right here? Yeah. So it's going to be hard to get that divot out. It's going to be hard to get that out and not screw up the joint a little bit. Now that's okay because you just run the joint back through it after, right? So you're just going to, just going to, I'm going to let you do it, but you're going to just work that in there this way a little bit, this way a little bit. And if you have to go over the whole thing, that's okay too, as long as you don't completely destroy oh, the groove. it in. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm thinking if I got a little bit of cream. In the future, when if when you do go to groove stuff, if you could mag it kind of flat first and then groove it, that would help you like in this case right here a little bit. Sometimes you just can't because you can't reach it or whatever. Well, that's a helper rare because I'm like, I'm not getting any. Yeah, that is. Any leverage. Oops. How's it going, Doug? Going, you know, going good. I'm surviving. That's what I do. Hey, Reba. <laughs> All right. What do I need to fix? Okay, she's so just about ready to broom, right? <clears throat> so what I would do is come at the, come over here to this angle for a second and look at your groove right there. See, see the edge. I would try to flatten that little edge mark out. That's all. Right here? Yeah, yeah. Because the broom, just pull it towards you with the tip a little bit. Oh, yeah, like that. Just in. really lightly. Just kind of. And same with that little hump out there? Yeah. Because when you pull that broom over it, it may or may not take that out. We don't know. We don't have to go back and do it again. Try to be so delicate. Yeah, I mean. Normally when, when you'd mag that, you probably would mag it like this and just make sure it's flat next no, time. Bring it back. Yeah, just, I mean, but for right now, you can just do that. Maybe do that right there. Then I think you're almost maybe a little one here and then you're okay to stop brooming that. Just get it smooth. Yeah, 
little just got a little bit of a deep mag mark right there just flatten that out a little bit yeah Will right. those kind of fill in? That one should be good, yeah. Okay. Keep that mag kind of flat. Don't tip it. There you go, yeah. And otherwise, you're going to pull up some rocks from underneath. Just put some head pressure on There you go. Yeah, I got it now. Nice. There you go. Right. Perfect. I wouldn't mess with it again. No? Nope. So let's grab the broom. Start from, I don't know, left to right, right to left, whatever you want to do. I'll just go over here and work right to left. And go right to the edge, edge to edge. Yeah, and just know that this is going to cover up, like if you're going to put the finished edge on it, this is going to cover up a little bit, right? So yeah. you don't need to, you don't need to completely About go to the edge. Off. Yeah, half an inch off. You definitely don't want to pull any of that crap off the board into it, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, and just keep that angle low like that. Don't pull the angle up as you go back. Keep it at the same angle. Even if you just walk back, yeah, that's what I do. I walk right back like that. That gives the, the broom the same head pressure the whole way. Nice. Like it, like it. Do I overlap? I can do like that, right? Well, you overlap it about an inch, yeah. Like ish? Inch. Yep. Yeah, I just know if I could go in that groove, I guess I'm not putting no weight on it, so. Yeah, I ain't gonna bother it, nope. Would well, you tap that off at all? Or? Sometimes we tap that off. You could use one of those, just go right over here. Hit, hit this part of the head, like. Right there, just don't bend it. Yep. That taps off some cream, and then wait, what else you could do is you could like turn it back this way. On right over the corner. Yeah, just back and forth over yep. the corner without tipping that over, and you'll be good. We do that usually with a five-gallon bucket of water. Yeah. Fucking bugs fly right in your eyes. You're not too bad till I start sweating, and then. I think all the sweat and smell. So if it clumps up like that, is that just it's getting hard? Would you redo that? See, or? we call those snotties. Now those will those will just like like brush right off okay. tomorrow. Yep. Trouble is, are you coming back tomorrow or not? And what is the remember I said about first impressions? Yep. Is the first impression of the homeowner going to say, what, yep. or is he going to look at that and say, isn't that how it's supposed to look? Would you reprim so, that? So, yeah, I'm getting to that. Yes, we would. Okay. A lot of guys don't. They'll just brush them off the next day. So how do we fix that? Well, we got to go get the five-gallon bucket of water and clean the, clean all the paste off that. The paste is just getting built up on okay. it. That's all. You bang out the excess water a little bit? Yeah, I did. Okay. Go over the pot you just did with the snotty. See if it looks better. Yeah, that looks a lot better to me, doesn't oh, yeah. it? Doesn't it, you too? I agree, 100%. As soon yeah. as I did it, it just wiped them right away. Yeah. Either it got just enough wet to cream it over. Um, and sometimes, it, like if you're in the sun, it does that even more often. You kind of have to clean it more often. So you just kind of keep a bucket next to you. And yeah, you that's all we do. Yeah, I'll tell, I'll show you how we do it. Come here. Try to fill the bucket up as much as we can. So I'll, I'll dip that side down and up. Turn it down and up. Then I go right flat across the top like this, back and ah, forth. Yeah, okay. go go ahead. One, two, three, four, maybe. And then I just take like we did on the concrete block. Yep. I'll let you do it. Just take that and go bang, bang, bang. Get out the excess. Even a little harder. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. What happens is if there's water like this, if there's water on that, and you go back to broom it. Let's say you broom that without any cleaning it right without any water so it's kind of dry and then you get water on it and there's excess water you run that across when it when it cures out and bleaches out this pot's going to be whiter than that and then that won't be as white because the water's kind of cut off on that first pass and it looks like is that kind of long term or does it stay like that no nope, don't come out wow that's good long term know. yeah so, so just always try to bang out the excess water some guys don't give a They'll just go right over it. And so there's little snotties there. That's fine. I guess yeah. Not big deal. Yeah, those are nothing. Okay. 
that looks really good like a pro right there so now you gotta now you gotta ask yourself am i gonna edge it i think you should edge it for practice oh yeah, oh yeah and then do you want to leave the groove without the without the finish mark or do you want to try grooving it with the finish mark that's if i can reach without that's the key right yeah. And the one, yeah i guess you could have it oh. I think you can reach. Look, if you see it up, you can go down and feel the feel. At least you get the feel of it. Now I got it. Now, would you would you uh, join it first and then edge, or does it matter? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I think if it was me here by myself, I'd probably get the join in first. Because I know the edges are just like one of the easiest ones. So I'll just reach out here, right? Yeah. And I just try to pull it towards me at first instead of going like this. I'm just trying to pull it towards me and see if I can get the finish mark. If it doesn't look good, I might, I might just go and try it again. Just see if that works at first. Right. If it's too hard, then I might need to go both ways, you know. And nose pointing that way. I would, I would start. I would pull the back. Oh, like yeah, the back yeah. is what's going to give you your finish. Yeah. And then when, because you, you're going to hit your nose here probably, right? Then you, at the very end, you might have to turn it around and just, and just finish that off. Flick it. Yeah. Now just remember, you can't screw it up. We can fix it. <laughs> and you're going to be able to reach out a little ways here too. So, yep. Yeah. Not too bad, I still see some broom marks on this. Yeah. So we'll just keep going over it until we get the broom marks out. Yep. Maybe a little more pressure down. Yep. That looks good right there. Missing a couple spots, that's okay, it's perfectly normal. These are the things right here that build your reputation, like attention to detail on the very finished things. Is what, like this too. is what people are going to notice. They're going to be like, man, I want this guy doing my work. Yeah, it's like, and I don't mind doing this, you know, if I have to, five, six, seven times just to get. Sometimes you have to, even we do. Sometimes. We wouldn't get that in the first pass, I can yeah. tell you that. Now, if you want, you could turn that around and start from there and do it a little bit that way too. Finish that. Out, again, you can go out as far as you can reach if you want to. It's starting to look really good. Yep. Hit it one more time? Or I I think there's a couple spots that yeah, could use a little bit more, right? Right on it. Yep. But it's really close. It's really good. So I guess I'll come back and hit that edge, huh? You're gonna get yeah, I think you're gonna get that with the edger pretty much. Yep. I'm definitely a little delicate. I'm like, I don't want to push too hard to where I can't go back. I guess, like I said, I could rebroom it. Yeah, oh, I don't blame you. But I'd rather do this so you get six times than yeah. rebroom it again. You go bailing in that pool. I don't want to be there with a the camera. This one you may be able to go back and forth a little bit with, okay. I think, as long as you're careful not to make that edge line too deep in order to get that nice rounded part around the board. Yeah, I don't know how that sweater didn't come off three hours ago. I know, I know, yeah. It's, I like it hot, man. I like it hot. I could probably live in Florida. Good weight loss program. Yeah. Nine. I think, they, I think we got it at nine on the 28th. Taking the video. Hey, no, yeah. no, don't walk on Bella, that. no. Oh, that would be cool. Put my footprints in there. <laughs> no, after Joe just worked his ass off doing that. Hey, hey, hey Nikki, come. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Oh, when he oh, wait a minute. This is video. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Oh, this is Joe what? Hill. This is his out. first pad he's finished all by himself. Joe, I mean, you've been here for what, about a week or so? A week, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, kind of just let everybody know what you've learned a little bit in just a week. Where do I start? So uh, started, Bella. I was here for less than 12 hours. Come on, and Bella, the very come. first day come on a job, we did a stamp patio um, with a deco creek. It was pretty cool to learn. Bella, We've done a basement, roughly 1,500 square foot. We've done a pool. We've done a couple uh, garage slabs, barn slabs. And now today we're finishing up with a pool slab and not sure what this will be, but yeah, everything from the edging 
brooming, I mean, raking, screeding, troweling, pretty much everything A through Z that concrete has to deal with. So these guys are phenomenal teachers. Um, a lot of information, and it's a it's an art. It's a fine art, and these guys are the best in the business. So can't think of enough. All right. Well, thanks, Joe. So Joe's got a, two or three more weeks here. We'll we'll get him some, on some more video. I know yesterday he got to run a power trial for the first time. That was that was. It's a really. It looks easier than it really is, but I guess he did a pretty good job on it. I wasn't there, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. That first time was like riding a bull. So yeah. never done it. Power trial 101. Learn from the best and uh, take your time because it will take you for a ride. All right, guys. Thanks for checking in. We'll check back with you later. Nice job. Hey, guys. So if you want to learn from me, my online training can help you learn how to do concrete just like we're teaching Joe. Inside the Concrete Underground, I have multiple different topics of concrete. Concrete slabs, stamp concrete, you know, how to pour concrete, the different types of way we pour, finishing concrete broom finishes, stamp finishes, just all kinds of different stuff you can learn from me in here.